Yes, Sam, I think you should make some tea. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Bob. Good evening, Loger. Hi, Arcane, Manic, Zem, Dominic, Satellite. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing here as I am. I was watching old beardish clips and dude, you sound so weird. <laughs> well, I mean, for one thing, I, I was five years younger at that point. I I think, right? Beardish was like my second year streaming, I want to say. Um, also, I've been through three different microphones uh, in my streaming career. The first that I used, which might have been during Beardish period, um, was the built-in microphone on this webcam that I've, I'm still using after six years. Uh, and, you know, that the, the acoustics on that aren't going to sound great. And then I had like a nice microphone that I never really got the levels on to a place where I really liked them. And now I have this one, which is basically idiot proof because I am an idiot and I use it and it sounds really good. <clears throat> this is exactly what I needed. So you had hair. I did, but on my face. This, no, you, you never would have known me with hair up here. You can, you can assume that I was just born bald, really. You use any lighting on the camera? No. I have, I have no lighting, I, I have no lighting set up. I've never had any lighting set up. Um, back, in, back in the beardish days, I just used the, the ambient room light. I, the one thing I did, the one thing I did is I put a, a standing lamp, uh, like in the corner of the room behind my desk. So I wasn't just being lit from the top down. I actually had a light source over here. Right now, it's, this is just pure ambient light. Uh, the ambient light of, of these Christmas lights here. And it's kind of amazing that it comes out looking as good as it does, really. I mean, not that you want to see me that clearly anyway. <clears throat> you were born mostly bald, right? No. Nope. I wasn't. I was born with a full head of hair. Uh, my my mom tells me that I was I was the most uh, popular baby in the nursery uh, when I was born because all the nurses could like could like style my hair and stuff. Uh, and <coughs> to prove that point, both of my kids were born with a full head of hair. Um, my older daughter had a ridiculous pixie cut when she was born. It just stood straight up and it was adorable. And then my second daughter, for some reason, had intensely curly hair, like a perm. Like we, we have pictures of her for, uh, for when she was just a couple months old with like grandma hair and it's so funny. Your siblings were all born with hair? Okay. It's, it's, it's not like some kind of insane mutation or anything. It does happen. It does actually happen. And you see every single one of your skin pores is like the old days when HDTV was the new fat. Oh, God, I remember that, too. I remember people, people going back and forth over HD because we're like, now we're seeing too much. And actually, I get that when I watch, uh, when I watch streaming episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, which has been upscaled to HD. And I could see way too much of the production now. I, every, every bridge shot, every single bridge shot, I'm looking for the pieces of construction paper they put over the panels at the back of the bridge because the, the surfaces were too reflective. Oh, I love it. It's great. Whenever there's a dead body, you can see them breathing. Yeah, high definition nose hairs is great. Yeah, you can totally see it's all stage. It's great. It is great. And honestly, it makes it so much more fun. You know, if I if I need like like extremely high, like perfect production values or whatever, I could just watch modern Trek. But man, like going back and watching those old ones. I love that about next uh, not next generation, the original Star Trek. Um, it was so much fun seeing them like bump into cave walls and they shake and shudder because they're like paper mache seeing like the seams and zippers on uh on costumes so oh god oh god there was a uh season three of next gen um there was an episode where a guy evolved into a higher being he basically ascended on the bridge and what they did 
was they put him in a yellow bodysuit and just like like post processed like a like a glow around him and in HD you can see that body sock perfectly and it's the funniest fucking thing. This guy is like giving giving this big speech on the bridge about about reaching a higher plane of reality and it's just some dude in a fucking body condom. It's so funny. <laughs> I must have the shitty camera from Columbo then. <laughs> Same thing with the Columbo. <coughs> all right, let me go back to me. I grabbed Radiant Silver again because it was half off. So good to see what all the fuss is about finally. Get the feeling I'm missing part of the magic. Not getting to experience it during your Saturn days. Uh... And something I keep in mind um, when I play games on the power hours is that when I, when I come across a game that I haven't played before, I really try to put myself in the mindset I was in back in the 90s. Like, imagine what it would have been like if I had rented that game or gotten it for Christmas. <clears throat> there's, so much, there's so many intervening years, decades now of gaming that you kind of got to put out of your mind. <clears throat> How about when I ascend, I suddenly wear a yellow pajama. <laughs> At least it didn't have a boner. Oh, yeah, that's a different episode. I remember seeing that clip on YouTube and everyone in the comments was talking about his enlightened bull. <laughs> oh, God. Sub Shadows trying out the original Aliens vs. Predator FPS on Atari Jaguar. Oh, yeah, that one's really cool. Yeah, that one's really neat. I would like to give that a try sometime. Uh, I, that, that was the one that was famously dragged in, uh, what was it, uh, EGM? For for having for pioneering first person controls that would obviously never catch on. <clears throat> Probably my deal with Silver Gun back in the day was Saturn mode having basically meta progression. Really? What's up, Manic? Oh, you brought your yellow body condom? Excellent. You're you're well prepared for tonight. Are there decent games like Jaguar besides Tempest? Dude who made the Jaguar emulator for Atari 50 release a standalone build that supports every Jaguar game. Oh wow, that's super cool. That is super cool. <coughs> anyway, chat. Uh, let me let me appraise you of my of my situation for tonight, because uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good right now. But I will uh, I will be honest with you. Today today was tough. Um, I it, it's been it's been harder and harder to hold up under under the the stresses of daily life. Uh, since my, my, since my wife went to Japan and today was definitely the hardest so far. Um, fortunately my, my kids were there to help me out, but, um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a great day, uh, to give you some idea of where I'm coming from. I've taken almost the entire week off from work. <laughs> I'm going to work on Wednesday, but um, I was on my way to the office this morning and turned around and came home and I was like, yeah. So, yeah, I took today off. I took tomorrow off. I took Thursday off. I took Friday off. So and I need it. I need it real bad. In a situation involve ice cream and whiskey, I guess it could. I guess it could if I really wanted to. And as appealing as that, as appealing as that sounds, uh, not tonight. But good evening, Negaritep, and PM Collector Boy, and Arcane, and every, everybody else. If I didn't say good evening to you, I apologize. But good evening to you. Yes, you. Not those other people. It, just you. Anyway, I'm telling you all this uh, to let you know <laughs> that... I kind of think Dark Souls, while my wife is gone, may have been a little ambitious of me. Um, it's not the most relaxing game in the world. Uh, and I already mentioned last week, like I didn't stream on Wednesday. And part of that was like, I don't want to deal with Smo and Ornstein tonight, but that's what I got to do if I stream. And that thought was certainly still there in my head when I sat down tonight. So. I'm not saying anything. Um, I'm I'm not saying I'm I'm gonna quit or stop or whatever. But 
but uh i am i am listening to myself i am i am listening to what i am telling myself and if we need to take a break from dark souls uh until my wife gets back that's not outside the realm of possibility so far too much for what is essentially a parasocial relationship is there no family or friends that can help no no no. i'm, I'm getting help i'm getting help my parents came yesterday uh my girls had a performance my parents were here um i have i have a lot of family friends that can offer assistance and stuff it's just i am not good at this is is the long and short of it it's i'm not good at keeping track of the sum total of all the little daily tasks required to keep a family running um and whatever whatever help i do get doesn't doesn't really change that fact if that makes sense so yeah it's uh I, I can do this, but it's really hard, is, is where I've ended up. <coughs> and, like, stuff, stuff keeps cropping up. I had, to take, uh, I had to take my older daughter to the dentist today because uh, of something that's going on with her teeth, and that added another appointment that's going to happen next week. Um, and we had to push around the schedule, so now I have another thing that I need to do on Thursday, which is going to change how I handle everything then. And... All of this would be fine if there wasn't, you know, all the additional concerns of, you know, what are we going to eat tomorrow night? When do I need to start cooking that? Do I need to go out and go grocery shopping? Oh, crap. I haven't gone grocery shopping for X and I keep forgetting to get that. Uh, you know, do I need to do laundry? Do I need to wash the bedding? Do I need to vacuum, straighten up and stuff? Yes, yes, chaos. We were talking about the struggle of single parenting, which is weighing, weighing heavy upon me, he heavier today than, than ever before. But I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm less, less than two weeks out from my wife coming back. She's coming back a week from Sunday. So. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's... I, I, I really appreciate everybody's support and, and the, the offers of help I've gotten from people in my life. But honestly, I think, I think all I really need is just hang in there. And I will. And I shall. And she gets back, oh, she'll just break. I totally am. I'm going to, I am already preparing mentally to just make a scene in the middle of LAX when, it, when I see her come out of the terminal. Heavy as heavy as the head that wears the Burger King crown. What's up, Eva? You know, all this time, all this time I've been streaming, I have not actually gone to Burger King once. I really should get a Burger King crown, honestly. <coughs> <coughs> Helps. I got Walmart subscriptions. Makes home grocery deliveries free, so you don't have to go shop. Yeah, there's um, we we've got some some stuff like that. Online, online shopping, curbside pickup, and and things. I mean, I'll I'll get there. I'll get there. Me eating a Burger King is a hell of a sacrifice to get a paper crown. You are absolutely right. Yeah, it's not exactly a mystery why I haven't been to Burger King in the last six years because I don't fucking want to go to Burger King. Probably just order one online without the cost of eating the food. It'd probably be more worthwhile, right? Find one on like eBay or something. If you're going to make a scene for a long speech in Japanese and say, while well, you're sobbing, making an event. Yeah, that's the spirit. Exactly. Curbside pickups is a fucking godsend. It is. Isn't it? Bubger King. Oh, God. Good days. Occasionally, my partner's over and I actually get excited to cook for another adult and someone to give me a hand with the kids. Unlike my parents, who so often take more energy and manage that they end up helping. Oh, I know. I know. I feel very, I feel very fortunate. I know, I know a lot of folks have parents like that, and mine are... Mine are just incredibly endlessly helpful. Um, and I, I, got, I got real lucky in, in the parent lottery in that sense. They've been, they've been huge. <clears throat> but yeah. Burger King used to have a killer garlic burger, but it's been long discontinued. I have no idea what Burger King even has these days. The last time I remember paying any attention to Burger King, they had added really cheap like waffles and fries to their uh, uh no like waffles and like chicken fingers or something uh to to their menu 
Um, but Christ, I feel like that was really long time ago. I don't even know where there is a Burger King around here. All the ones that I know closed. Every single one. I would have to go out of my way to find one. I'm kind of perversely curious now. Would I? No, I'm, I'm not going to dare eat at Burger King while I'm flying solo. I don't, I don't need that additional trauma in my life. It has food. <laughs> Watch a VOD of some stream Mario Party with voice commands uh, versus Twitch chat versus a looping video of Obama giving a speech to the UN with hand... <laughs> what in the hell, dude? <laughs> that a chicken parmesan burger that I like could have been better. Kind of perverse. I'm kind of perverse. Yeah, don't get food poisoning while flying, flying solo. I am very proud that I've made it three weeks without making myself or my kids sick with my cooking. I feel like that's an accomplishment in and of itself, really. Chicken wraps are pretty okay. Twitch chat tried to make an alliance with the Obama video against the streamer. It was great. It was really funny. Burger King wants staff to give uh, off a positive aura by offering cardboard crowns and saying you rule to every customer. What? Oh, I can't, I can't click on that because I'm in the game. Wait a minute, can you play this game? Oh my god, you can play this game with mouse and keyboard. I like ne The possibility of that never even occurred to me. <clears throat> but of course you'd be able to do that. And I imagine some people do that to far greater effect than I do with my baseline controller. Some speedrunners play Souls games keep keyboard mouse. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I haven't ever resorted to Pop-Tarts for breakfast or chocolate cake for dinner. I have, I, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Uh, also, good evening, Deep Thought. Good to see you. Um, last week, last week I, 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 I was weakened a bit um, because I realized that I was making a lot of stuff with leftovers and I, I basically had too many leftovers. So I, I started I started to let off the gas a bit. We had frozen taquitos one night from Trader Joe's. They were pretty good. Um, we had frozen gyoza on Saturday. Uh, we went out to In-N-Out on Friday, which was extremely therapeutic for all of us. I think that was huge. I probably should have gone back to In-N-Out tonight. Um, <laughs> I've been good. I have I have stuck to only eating. I've stuck to only taking us out for dinner once a week. Um, when my parents came, they took us out for lunch and dinner on Sunday, and I really appreciate that. But yeah, for uh, for my part, I've I've been doing a lot of cooking. I am going to make uh, spare ribs tomorrow night, and I'm going to make beef stew later this week. It's not as impressive as it sounds because we have like an instant pot that'll handle pretty much the whole thing for me. I just thaw out the meat and throw it in with some stuff and it'll cook for me. Yeah, dude, instant pots are saving my life right now. Sparrows and I have to take spare ones. Secret ingredients, tears. <laughs> Darren and I did something nice in instant ramen. I had some leftover grilled chicken strips and soft boiled eggs. Chopped that up, reheated them, had them in my ramen alongside. Oh, that does sound nice. I love that. I love that kind of cooking where it's like, I have this stuff. What can I do with it? I've been, with all those uh, extra, <coughs> excuse me. With all the extra leftovers, I ended up making sandwiches out of everything. And that was actually really good. You identify for which of uh, for us which of your ribs are the spare ones? All right, so I definitely need I think like the top four. Under that, I think they're kind of debatable, really. Um, I don't know how good the the ribs under all the spaghetti stuff is. They might already be getting kind of squishy, but conversation happening while the character is on bench rampage is tickling. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that bench. Fuck that table. Fuck these stools. Look at my fridge to see what I have and thinking what can I make with this. Yeah, I love that. Convention I'm doing scheduling has decided it wants to organize a dance on the Sunday night of the event. Then independent of any knowledge of scheduling or uh, AV staff. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. Okay, back to playing Dark Souls. It has been almost a full week. It's been like six days. 
And I'm gonna fight this guy. And I remember this guy actually kicking my ass a couple times. But I also remember that I can stun lock these guys if I get the rhythm down right. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool. Totally ready for Smoke Nord Steam. Generally remember Dang Souls since last week. I'm stoked. Well, hopefully I can live up to expectations. <laughs> and if I can't and if I can't, we'll all get a kick out of it. I like it. <clears throat> what does this say? Shortcut ahead. Image Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I have to remember how to do this. I have done the skip here. I forgot all about it. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, I, oop. Oh. Okay. I'll get, I'll get this. I'll get this. That'll, that'll save me some, some time and some heartache too. I'm sure. There was no sound effect of that fall. That's because my uh, my footsteps, my footsteps. There we go. My footsteps are magically silenced. That's why my feet are glowing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually. I should probably switch that ring out for this fight. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, you feel the black eye orb quivering. So. Um, Say it's not because of that guy. <laughs> Whoosh. So you might recall uh, the firekeeper back at Firelink is dead. Well, the the asshole that killed her left us this uh, black eye orb. Uh, pretty spry for a big guy. I did let her die. Well, well, well. I mean, really, if we're being honest here, chat let her die. I let y'all decide what we're... Oh, fuck. I let y'all decide what we're... Oh, Christ. <laughs> I let y'all decide how we we're going to handle Law Trek. <clears throat> It's actually intended at one point to be a second quest like that with another black orb. Oh, cool. Don't blame us for your folly. Ah, oh, God, all the chairs and stuff are back. So wait, if I just go up the stairs, will that, uh... This guy follow me? He will. This may be a huge mistake, but we'll find out together. Oh yeah, that was a huge mistake. But you know what? Life life is about experimentation. It's a process. Trust the process. There's gonna be Shiva stealing uh, something or killing someone. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Whoosh. <clears throat> this. Ah, yes, the buttresses. Whoever decided Enro Londo had was loved big buttresses. The reason why everyone hates you in whatever this place is? I'm sure there is, and I'm sure someone in chat would love to outline it for you. Okay, I actually want to do a thing along here. Let's not just get my souls back. There's something purring? <laughs> Nah, you're good, don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about a thing, buddy. Oh, he has the guys outside purring. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> I forgot there was a guy up there. All right, I think this is the perfect condition to attempt this. Yep, perfect. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, it's them. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. The undead curse is so horrible that you're to be locked up in the undead asylum literally forever to try and stop it from spreading. Well, there's also like, along with that though, there's the fact that like nobody actually lives in like any of these places. Yeah. So I'm sure at one point, <laughs> Oh, I was really hoping that second one was going to kill me, too. That would have been great. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the Undead Asylum was probably a solution back when, back when the undead were a minority and not everybody. Oh, yeah, y'all haven't been added, adding those. Have you? He added that one, but I think I think we need to go back and catch the other one. Do we? Beat another crab's treasure yesterday was good. Nice. Quite nice. Yeah, I think we missed the first death. So go ahead and throw another one on the pile. Marcus. There we go. All right, we should be we should be evened up now. There we go. All right, much better. Oh, there he is. I wasn't paying a bit of attention to that guy. It's so weird not hearing the footsteps. I know. I know. In fact, let me go ahead and switch that out right now. I'm going to put them back on if and when I get past uh, Smo and Ornstein, but we don't need it for right now. There you go. Step, 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 step. During silence, whenever Audish isn't talking of no footsteps, when you question my headphones are unplugged every five seconds. Yeah. This is this has been an unnaturally quiet game. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just stop using that ring in general. It does make the game weirdly silent. Like it's a really good ring but it's also really weird. Oh shit. No, fuck. 
Oh my god, I need to even finish that guy off. Okay, now I did. And then that guy's just like, yep, yeah, fuck this. I'm done. Bye. Try to use it and go ahead. Yeah, it just, it makes it much harder for enemies to, wow, okay. That was my fault. I double tap the, fuck. I double tap the roll button when I shouldn't have. Jeez, did this poor headphones die? it when I double tap the fuck. I know. Hi, Dave. Am I making you nervous, Dave? Double tapping the fuck just seems polite. All the enemies respawn when you die, or just the furniture? Uh, yes, all the enemies, with a few, with a few exceptions. I don't actually know, like, the, the, I don't know if there's any particular logic to it, or if there's just some enemies flagged to just not respawn. It's pretty rare for enemies not to respawn in this game. You can you can pretty much count on having to deal with everybody over and over and over again. To cheese it, it's the fuzz. All right, we're we're doing this. We're doing this. I would love to read those messages. I'm in danger. It's so large. <clears throat> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I almost got out of the corner. So funny to me that Motoi Sakuraba did the music for the game considering how intensely different his other work is. What other stuff has he worked on? Okay, so add death is on a five second cooldown then. Must be. What's up with the fat armor who decided that even his armor need to be fat? What if he's just a fit guy underneath? Oh, well that's easy. He's not. <laughs> he is just a giant chungus dude under the giant chungus armor. Oh, no, great. He actually is very fit underneath. Tail series Star Ocean. Oh yeah, I guess that would be quite different, wouldn't it? General deal is upbeat prog rock. Doesn't seem like people here like Smo that much, so the armor might actually be making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute tweak under the Smo under armor. Okie dokie. Whoa! Ha 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 ha. Ow. Some damage. I'm not even gonna bother with the souls. Like, I don't think there's any point. Okay. Man, 
doesn't track quite as well as I was hoping. Ah. <coughs> All functional muscles. One Piece Odyssey's OST was him. Not his armor, his moves. It's for it's for the intimidation factor. I am certainly into. Did I? Oh wow. Fat fingered that real bad. <clears throat> Spose also can't. <laughs> what? Really? That's why he can't be a knight. Is that protein for his games? That's why people don't like him very much. It's a pretty good reason. There's a pretty good reason. So you know the Sonic Fall Guys clone thing, it looks kind of fun. I mean, the 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 Fall Guys formula is very effective. You know, bullshit track until you've seen Chained Ogre's flying foot attack steer uh, in midair in Sekiro. I just kind of took that one on faith. That does some damage. Oh, no! I don't know where he is. He was behind me. That's gonna suck when he actually gets out of his way. That was hilarious. Nope, 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 leave, leave, leave. Oh, we're out. Okay. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, I dodged the wrong way. <laughs> Push him right in my face. I'm not sure which of those was preferable, really. Okay. Shit! Did that hit his... Did that hit his hammer? Okay. Okay. Hammer, axe, and shield. I never knew that. 
I had no idea. My friend. I'm not, I'm not sure which way I did this when I did this before. I'm not sure if I did this this way or the other way. He big! He embiggened! Oh, Lord. Far away from this guy, or what? I am okay. Yeah, okay. Was a little curious. Okay. That's pretty neat. Oh, wait, I'm out. Wait, you're out. Wait, don't do that. You're out. Ah. <clears throat> Eat a humanity. <coughs> I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Definitely progress. That is definitely progress. Um... I don't think this one's super useful. Let's see if I throw heavy in there. I don't mind so much when they keep their damage from before the super. Uh, most of the time they heal. In DMC3, you can actually take both out before anyone transforms if you're careful about it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't see what people like about this game. The combat seems kind of miserable to you. It's just, it's... You're, you're fighting for the, for the sense of accomplishment. You're battling, you're battling to, to see if you can, if, if you can overcome the challenge. I mean, if the, cha if the challenge doesn't appeal to you, then there is, there is no appeal to this game. Like, that's it. do that again. Not a great start. Oh, wow, okay. That's kind of neat. Uh, song sounds very uh, Sakuraba. I like the world design of this one more than the combat, just exploring the space and see how, seeing how things interconnect. Feel the same? I remember I actually beat Kingsfield without a guide, so maybe I'm a hypocrite. More this. Don't be too neg- I mean, you're welcome to be as negative as you want. Like, I- I enjoy this game. Like, you're not- you're not gonna change my opinion of it. I've- 
I have been through far more frustration with this game than you are ever going to see on this stream. I have no idea how many times I fought them. The first time I played this game, it was a mil like it was so many times. When we turned into Pyramid Head, <coughs> this was back in Sen's Fortress, I think. I think that's where I got this outfit. So we can get more into Kingsfield combat and Souls. Mostly, you like the slur. Uh, the slower pacing works better for you for whatever reason. I want to like... I feel like I'm going to have an easier time... Little Ornstein moves around a lot and is really hard to hit with magic. Smo is not, except for when he's blocking with his hammer. So I feel like if I... I feel like if I can wear him down with the... with the lesser arrows. If I, I feel like if I can wear down Smo with the lesser arrows, then I can save the big ones for... Ornstein when he, embi when he embiggens. And that might work better. That might work out better. It'll just make this first part longer. Which probably isn't ideal. I hate that. I hate the way this fight starts. God Christ, I wish they did uh, friendly fire damage to each other. I mean, I get why they don't, certainly, but... God, I wish they did. <laughs> Anyone else here plays Anandu next? The level design Dark Souls 1 reminds you of it for whatever reason. Reminds you of it how? Because Dark Souls... Dark Souls 1's level design is pretty singular. It's pretty special. That was kind of neat. I hit with the absolute tip of the axe, and it did reduce damage. I know there's I know there's weapons in this game like that. Where the damage is variable based on like how how solid of a hit you get on things. Close the Dark Soul one's winding level design, probably Bloodborne. Is a similar interlink area interlink. Sometimes the tip is all you need. Yeah, I've never played another game that that was able to make everything connect the way the way Dark Souls 1 does. It does feel very special. No, I don't actually want to be staring at him. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Fucker! What a piece of shit! Ah! 
That is definitely one of the worst feelings in the world. When you've keyed in like Estus or something, you see somebody coming at you and you're just mashing the roll, the roll button knowing you're not gonna get it. <laughs> More this. Like he twirls his spear around before doing that heat seeking death dash attack. It is very stylish, isn't it? Animation queuing in this game can be brutal, yeah. Well, I, I do believe that's by design. It's... It's making you aware that you really have to commit to things. My feet are so dusty. I actually had a roll queue up and didn't come out about 20 or so seconds later when you released it after sprinting for a while. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I guess every fight's just gonna start like that. Fuck me, man. I can't. You're big and obnoxious, and I hate it. What? Oh, it's the wrong button. Fuck, dude. That felt awful. Totally pushed the wrong button. Man. He does like they do the dash attack to open a fight. Oh, I think I'm gonna be dead in a sec. Where is he? There he is. I see him there. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, I need your friend. Oh, no, I didn't want to. Wow, that actually worked out. Cool. Yeah. Not being able to see him. Oh, fuck. Oh. I thought I was right outside his range. got way closer than I thought it was going to. I think you actually staggered him. Or it's his back around bathroom bit. Okay, so this will work. This will work. I can I can kill Smo with great soul arrow and I can save great heavy for Ornstein. This will work. Yeah, yeah, this'll work, this'll work. It's just, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot to do. You can get the Silver Knight sort of eventually, you won't know what to do with it. <laughs> 
I'm just added to the pile. Pile of all this junk. Remain boss heal after you kill the first. I believe so. I think I think that's what happened last time. Because the the first time, well, the only time so far that I made it to the second phase, he had full health, and I know I had done damage to him before that. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay, we just gotta get everything. Oh, that scared me. Oh, shit, I couldn't see that through his giant, you know. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't know he could cancel out of it. This cheating fuck. He's dancing in front of him. So funny. Oh, good. Oh! Okay. No, 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 no! Okay. Yeah, I did stagger him, actually. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, fuck! They're not gonna let me heal, are they? I mean, I wouldn't if I were them. Fuck. That's scary. Ah, oh, man, I did it too soon. And now he's beside me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, and he's coming. Okay, change his mind. Didn't change his mind. Ah. No! Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to take the bullet for smoke. We can't get the spacing right. The question is, does the lightning still shoot? I would be so pissed. I'll be, because I think it'll kill me if it hits me. I would be so pissed. I don't even know where he is. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hang on. Okay. I'm definitely going to start eating humanities here. Are you... No, 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 okay. Okay. Kinda hold still for all this. That's not what I had in mind. Okay, 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 getting there. Getting there. <coughs> no problem. So perfunctory now.
The other thing I can do, if and, if and when I get tired of doing this, is, uh... Oh, oh, Jesus. Because I can actually summon people for this. And give it, given the way I'm handling this, it should go pretty well. If I decide to go that route. Oh, shit. Well, the funny part is that I did actually hit him. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just posing for the camera. Smug son of a bitch. I take it the Silver Knight Sword is a pretty rare drop off those guys. Yeah, I guess it would have to be because there's a bunch of them up in here. And naturally, you're going to be killing them over and over and over and over and over and over again. 2% rate. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. That's practically generous by gotcha standards. <laughs> oh, he didn't do it. That's weird. I swear to God, his spear is just longer than it looks. Or maybe I'm just... I maybe just have a really bad perspective for this. Oh, no, 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 shit. Dark Souls bosses, you never actually want to get very far from them. I know that's a hilarious thing to say after that happens, but... Like, their worst bullshit always tends to be something designed to punish somebody who, like, is just trying to avoid them, which, unfortunately, is what I'm trying to do this entire time. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> like a second before I was going to get crushed, he just stabbed me in the side. What's up, Ms. Roy? How you doing? <laughs> the Arc Arc Knight six-star rate. Baldur's Swag Sword and Ghostblade are both 1% drops. 
Ghost Boy is significantly is. worse. There's like two enemies that drop in neither in your bonfire. Gross. What are, for my own reference, what are the Black Knight weapon drop rates? Before I leave here, I'm probably gonna like be able to get down to that thing. Alright, let's hang out, wait for your buddy. There he comes. There's our boy. Okay. All right. Now, as we were. No. Oh. Bit close for comfort. I don't want to be in the corner. Ow. Come that boy. Man, he's just having a time, isn't he? Ha! Headshot. Oh fuck! <laughs> Ornstein actually pushed him over there? These two are so funny. Oh, fuck. coming. <sighs> Black Knight weapons even to all be 20%. That's not bad. <coughs> That's actually not bad in the grand scheme of things. hearing the Leon death noise instead. I guess that is pretty similar to the... Oh. So letting him punch in the stomach in the English death. I realized, I realized actually, if I did want to do jolly cooperation here, I'd have to clear these guys out. So I'd be able to wait around for summons and stuff, and I don't want to do that. Where's he going? Tell your buddy to get over here. Great, thanks. Okay, so like... <laughs> Some days things More just days. don't work out. <laughs> Why don't you just shoot them? 
Add death sound can be changed when the Dark Souls protects pain moans, but base boosted and reversed. <laughs> I feel like that would probably end up being like unmanageably annoying. To have no respect for the architecture. So actually this this makes me think. Does that mean that no one has ever challenged them like this? Because obviously they are going to tear that room apart in combat. But it's pristine when we get there. So are, are we actually the first one to make it far enough to challenge them? Because, I mean, no, nobody else has claimed Lord Vessel, obviously. Nobody, el nobody else has beaten them before us. Of course, you can say that about a lot of bosses in this game. You have to walk across the roof like that to get here. That's a good point. Higher makes sense. Smo's confused. He doesn't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. Nobody knows what exactly is going on. Ugh. I'm trying not to dodge roll like everything, but I'm kind of, I'm missing some stuff I really should be, ow. I didn't even see him. Woo oh shit. I thought, I thought it had already gone off and went into the wall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if we could just stay in that place forever. With both oh, with both of them just just slowly walking towards me. It'd be perfect. Oh, that was too soon. Fuck, dude. I didn't even realize he's doing it first. I see you! I guess you're the only one so far. I don't know why anyone's guarding the Lord Vessel anyway. Yeah, who cares, right? Who even gives a shit? Those are the horns blaring, uh... Completely inappropriately for this part. The orchestra is definitely getting tired of this. Ah, uh, jerk ass. If y'all want to do a wager, you should wager if I'm going to get a uh, Silver Knight Sword before beating Smo and Ornstein. Because while I am making progress, it's not steady progress. And we've already killed that guy probably a dozen times tonight. Next time the orchestra will be really loud to try and play you off. <laughs> <laughs> grab, isn't it? The one where he really slowly just kind of shoves the spear into your chest. He like picks your ass. Oh god. He like picks your ass up. Yeah, like that, right?
It's a grabbing phase two. I don't think anyone has a grabbing phase one. I hate the camera. The camera's not great. It would have been hilarious if that was it. If, if while we were wait, making the wager, it dropped. You'd have to pay that shit out real fast before somebody capitalized on it. Turn off camera wall recovery. Is that an option? What the hell is that? Camera auto wall recovery. Okay. Did I do it? Okay. I have no idea what that is. Sounds like black magic. How's the camera sometimes suddenly jerk around when you're moving in tight corridors? Oh, that worked out, didn't it? Buddy, I don't want to fight you. He wants to fight me, though. Convention over the weekend needs help with his medical bills. His buddy had a bad reaction to some of the drugs they were taking. Now he needs medical help. Oh. Mortis. What kind of drugs was that? <laughs> it's an interesting swagger they got. Look like he was limping. That's a new one. No, come on, man. Ugh. Oh, that's not helpful. If he's determined to just run through me, there's not a lot I can do about that.
Somebody needs to add that, by the way. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I, I really want to stay close enough to Ornstein so that he won't charge, but, like... Everything Smo does is so big. Like, sometimes he ends up pushing me away. And then things go bad. Or sometimes he just leaves. That's another thing that's not terribly helpful. One of his charges is homing, one of them isn't. That one is not. That one is. Oh god, see? If you hadn't gotten stuck, I would have done that. Oh, cool. Great. You're wrecking the place, those are load bearing pillars. I wish they were. I wish they'd bring down the ceiling and just kill everybody. Because I'd come back and they wouldn't. More mm. <coughs> Everybody getting a chance to add deaths tonight. can't backseat, but you can ask me a silly question. I have no idea how far it is again. This is like, this is like dead on halfway. Discounting the DLC. There's some reason you haven't kindled a bonfire, you get 10 flasks, he's trying instead of five. Mm. That hasn't, healing hasn't been my issue. <laughs> like I can always just switch to humanity if I need to. I've got plenty of it. Feel better about your death count guess now? More around 35 to 40 percent if you're doing DLC, yeah. Yeah, most likely. Big halfway point, uh, which half you spend more time in can vary a lot. That is also true. Also, good evening, Psycho Rider. Good to see you. if I can do this every like everything else should go pretty fine but at the same time some of the, some of the ones that I feel fine about I've never I've never tried with a sorcery focus like this 
So I don't know how they're gonna go. Like, four kings. I have no idea how four kings goes with sorcery. <laughs> Cool, thanks. Like, Four Kings goes fine with, like, really heavy armor and a big chunk of sword, but I don't have that. No, 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 no. No, I wanna, no, I wanna be over there. said is like he's he's shitty secret service was like spot on that's so funny out of this. A rare intact pillar. I don't keep saying this, bear with me, I'm really enjoying this. I always want to see these games and I really felt like I had or was in the space to ask all these questions. Thanks for playing this. Thanks for chat for feeling all the questions. <coughs> Happy to oblige. It's been a long time since I since I last played this game, so it's been interesting to revisit it, especially the different play style. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, you went over there. Very big. A very large man. Okay. Mm wow, I think I staggered him. Never thought I'd see that. Of course I keep missing. He, he tripped. Oh, we're out, fuck. Okay. Fuck. He gets that he gets that from Mornstein, doesn't he? Or Smo, sorry. I forget who I'm fighting. No! How does that miss? His ass is literally on the floor. Oh fuck. So what a time to discover you're out. So slow. Shit. Oh. Oh, fuck. 
He actually hit me from there. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't reason from here. Shit. Kind of an anticlimactic win, but I'll take it. <sighs> Very good. I got a Leo ring. I like it. Ugh, okay. We did it, chat. It only took an hour and a half, but we did it. Hmm. Thank you, C. I appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. Look, I even get my thousand souls back from last time. Well, it turns out the system works, chat. Craziest part is I didn't even use all of my spells. Nine. Nine. All right, chat. Right. Is the, uh, I'm trying to remember if there was something I was, I was gonna buy. Actually, I think there is. I think there were some spells I wanted to get from Big Hat Logan. I'm not gonna use these just yet. <laughs> All right, so this this is why everybody plays this game. Yeah, the classic. <laughs> Thou hast journeyed far. And overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. Hither we shall come. <clears throat> I'll let Chad explain what's going on here. Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day your father is formed at Obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. By the power of the Lord Vessel, you may now warp between bonfires. The most wonderful notification in the entire game. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheritest the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Is, is that what the Lord Vessel is for and Lord? No, I think, I, I think the Lord Vessel is, I, I think teleporting with it is purely f out of mechanical convenience. The Lord Vessel has a purpose. But yeah, that's, that's Guinevere. Or is it? I think we'll be back. I want that ring first. <coughs> um. This is the president should be Abraham Lincoln. Okay, we need to talk for a second, because I don't actually... Thank you! Thank you, Arcane. I appreciate it. Yeah, we need to talk for a second, because I don't actually know how this, this whole part goes down. What happens if I get rid of her? We were talking about Nightmare Car last time? We did, that did come up, yeah. Because I think it's, 
If it's not out already, it should be out soon. And it looks like a lot of fun. I mean, yes, and that would that would be an incredible tragedy. But disappears and Anor Londo goes dark. Um Barkeeper goes to kill you, and there's two human PCs to try to kill you. Okay. Um, does that have any... Does that relate in any way to um, the tomb under Ander Orlando that I need that ring to get into? Yes, kind of. See, my, uh, my only concern here, the only thing I want, I've never fought, it affects the tomb and that you can't join the covenant and will only be able to do the boss fight. Okay, okay. My concern is doing the boss fight. So if, if Guinevere up here has no, no relation to access to that boss fight, I can leave her be for now. <laughs> All right, uh, for right now, oh, we can warp. Oh, we can warp. Can't miss out on the boss fight either way. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave her be. Drop all the sentinels from the area if you kill her, okay. I mean, we're not, we're not really killing her either. If you, if y'all want, if y'all want to explain that to the folks in chat who don't know. I can't go to Firelink, can I? Wait, I can? I did not realize you could teleport to, to unkindled bonfires. That's actually very interesting. Hey, that guy left. To, but not from. Makes sense. Oh, you can actually kind of see his face. Never actually peeked in there. There's a man in there, chat. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I'm sorry all the voices in this game are so quiet. I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Is that your room? Uh, yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an... Once you're there, can't you light it? Not this one, because the firekeeper's dead. This sight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please. Take this as a token of my gratitude. That's... Oh, he gave me a miracle. Nice. That I'm never going to use. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Plenty no worries. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Every bonfire needs a firekeeper, right? I mean, we know the one at Firelink. We know the one in Quelag's domain. We know the one uh, at the start of Anorlando. Well, what about all the, only three of them? Hello, sir. Oh, hello. I appreciate the attention, but you that will. Okay, I see. <coughs> <laughs> Goodbye then. Do stay safe. <coughs> Hello okay. there. What have you been up to? I thought that perhaps you'd gone hollow on me. So have you come to further your study of sorcery? So yeah, that, that Guinevere that we met isn't real. She does not actually exist. I'll be fine, don't worry. It seems like the only thing I'm actually missing is Soul Spear. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. <clears throat> Good evening, Sacrificial Toast. How you doing? I can't use it yet though, because I need 36 brain power. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. 
go and die over nothing. Doing all right? Good, glad to hear it. Um, and then I, uh... I could talk to him. I don't know, I'm still pondering that. Particular bit. Hey, more casted favorite spell might be a better option. I think it's okay right now. Like, everything else is much more accessible. Like, if I want more great heavy soul arrow, that's only 8,000. But I wanted to make sure I could get this before I lose a shitload of souls and don't know when I'm gonna get, get them back again. Do you suffer your weekly archipelago async? What's archipelago like? Toast, um... My, my girls go to a dance studio that's in a shopping mall. And right near the dance shoot studio is a game store. And they have, like, they have, like, multiple walls in there devoted to board games. And every time I go in there and browse the board games, I think of you. <laughs> I think of the games you've told me about, and I take a look at them. So I can actually put... I, I know you, you post a bunch of screenshots of them, usually, but... It helps to actually have them in my hand and, and, and see the kind of stuff you've been talking about. <clears throat> so where are we at? Oh, I can get one. Sure, make me smart. Okay. Chow, we're at a bit of a crossroads here, actually. Um, there's a lot of things we can do at the moment. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go back to Anolando first. Because I need to deal with Law Trek. But while I'm doing that, I guess Chamber of the Princess is gonna be the easiest way to do this. While we're doing that, those of you in the know, where would you like me to go next? Because we have we have four op we have four options for conspicuous progress, and then I could also like head towards the grave of Artorius. <clears throat> Archipelago is basically a randomizer system. Instead of just randomizing one game, a bunch of people can connect to a server. It shuffles the items for everyone's games. Oh, cool! Cool, cool, cool. Duke's archives. Okay. We will go to the Duke's archives. Grave should come before one of the four. I gotta be honest, I don't actually remember why I need to go to, to the Grave of Artorias. I know there's a reason, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, right, okay, so, so, okay, so we just need to do that before New Londo. Totally forgot about that. Thank you. So it's, it's simulating multiplayer right now, which I think is really funny. <laughs> New Londo, Londo is asshole town anyway. Yeah, I remember so little of it. Knight Lawtrek the Guilty. New Londo Water Park. Oh, right, they limit your Estus when you uh, invade places. Forgot about that. I feel like magic isn't going to work real great here, but let's see. In the OG, you had no Estus at all? Ooh. Did Lord Trek, yeah, Lord Trek killed the uh, Firekeeper. So if we want to do something about that, we got to do something about that. Please let me target him. Oh, he's going to talk to, oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to talk to me, all right. Like 
Yeah, I'm actually gonna fight this guy. Oh, this is gonna take a lot. Okay. Ow. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. He's fat rolling. I guess he's not fat rolling, he's like mid rolling. Pretty funny. Oh shit, okay, I know where I am. Lost myself for a second there. I'm as shocked as anybody that I survived that. Your friends seem to have abandoned you. Oh, no, they're coming. Whoops. A second. Oh, that hurt. I can't believe that actually worked. Can't believe that actually worked. Guilty pay the price. I can't believe I did that. A dork attacking with his talisman. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah, dude, when I played this game the first time, I did I had to try that like half a dozen times. I was terrible at fighting Lotrek. <clears throat> I'm as shocked as anybody. Soft requirement to be sure to log in and do some work on it every couple of days. <coughs> Or a silly party board game called Draw Polter. Everyone gets these five little items you hold in one hand. A card is flipped over and it shows a subset of those items. And with one hand, with your one hand that's holding, you have to drop the items pictured. Whoever does it first gets a point, which are these tiny bells you also have to hold. Dude, that sounds like so much fun. That sounds really cool. All right, I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and fix Firelink real quick. Lotrek's a piece of shit, and he deserves to have his work undid. And then we'll get on toward the Duke's archives. Yes. Turn the Firekeeper's soul to its owner. Thank you. I'm Anastasia of Astora. <coughs> now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. I did revive her, yes. I don't think I have anything. Yeah. You need a firekeeper soul to reinforce your Estus Flask. Forgive me. I think My you you can actually choose not to restore a fire link and use your soul to uh, to enforce your Estus flask, right? Because it is a firekeeper soul. I wish not to speak. Heard good things and really have wanted to try it. <clears throat> I 
But I mean, what kind of monster does that? All right, uh, okay. So we want to go to either be the Maiden in Chaos Realm or the Anna Londo Firekeeper. Actually, wait, let me swap you out for Homing Soul Mass. Because <coughs> that one is useful in certain circumstances. Grab Lotrex armor now that he's dead. I think I have it. I kind I kind of clicked through um, everything I picked up, but I did pick up a couple pieces of things. Armor's up near the Princess Chamber bonfire. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, I mean, we'll we'll we we will be back there. So. Can't even check and see what I did get from the fight. The fap. Um, I have a lot of shiny souls. Oh, I think I picked up the Ring of Favor and Protection. Boost HP, Stamina, Load, Breaks when removed. Ring symbolizing the Favor and Protection of the Goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. The rings, ring boosts this wearer's HP, Stamina, Max Equipment, Load, but it breaks if ever removed. And then I grabbed, I got the Leah Ring off of Ornstein, right? Good, also so annoying since the thread breaking means you never want to take it off. Yeah. I like being able to swap my rings in and out, especially since I have both of the magic ones. Uh, special rings, ring of the Fort Knights of Gwyn, the Leah ring belong to Ornstein, the Dragon Slayer. Counters with Pierce Weapon. Strengthens counters with Pierce Weapons as Lugged Spear is said to have sliced a boulder in two. Is it not. So I, I assume Smo has a ring as well. I guess, I guess you can't get both of the rings in a single playthrough. Do so you have anything interesting to say? Hmm. So you have received a revelation. Very auspicious. I hope for the best. I pray <clears throat> that through you, her wish will be granted. I was asking about uh, the rings. Like, I got a ring from Ornstein. I assume Smo has a ring, but you can't get both rings. He doesn't have a ring. Okay. Who are all the... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. He's not... Oh, right. You were saying that earlier. He's not actually a knight. No ring for the cannibal. So I have the Ring of Artorias and I have the Ring of Ornstein. So who are the other two knights? I wonder. <coughs> Aaron and go. Huh, okay. You, uh... Anyway, that tower is where we're heading next. Actually, do you run in all four Knights of Gwyn through the course of the game in the DLC? Kind of cool. That's cool. <gasps> do I have to place it? Shit. Okay. Well, we get to enjoy the view again. Excuse me. I should have done. I should have just done that. It's one of the weirder parts of a weird game. 
<coughs> Man's all mossy. Someone's embraced the fat roll. Yeah, that was definitely me the first time I played this game. Wake up, you big floppy penis. Oh. Hit him once to wake him up. Okay. This is exactly what you are. Hi. Right. You like talking? Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel <coughs> for a thousand years. It is you. It is really you. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. Um. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Simply how things are done. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. <laughs> it's so fucking goofy. Also, don't ask me where I was carrying that. It is about a lord of a vessel. Please wear shoes? I don't think so. Actually, show you all the doors. We know that one. That was the one down in the demon ruins. I was too lazy to show you. I guess there isn't one in New Londo, huh? That one's just gated by having the ring. Good luck. <clears throat> there can't be, you wouldn't be able to place a vessel uh, with, ah, uh, okay. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of wind. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Isolith. Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Um. Yeah, I've always mispronounced uh, Isolith as well. He pronounces it Isolith. I'm still gonna say Isolith, it's easier to say. Oh, 
and flopping around there. Okay. Now we can get on with our lives. <laughs> Taking my harvest to Islet. <laughs> yeah, no, you you get it in your head to say something one way, and then it just you find out what the real pronunciation is, and it just doesn't flow right, you know. I do not like that he has a human neck instead of a snake neck, and it's wrinkly. I'm pretty sure everything about those dudes is designed to just be as off-putting as possible. For thematic reason. Alright, now we can go in here. This these tail cut sucks. Yeah, I've watched people try to do it. Not terribly excited at the prospect. Ah, fuck, that's right, the kick. Oh, he's protected in the back, isn't he? This one's different from the one up in the parish. As an armored asshole. Would that we were all would that we were all so lucky. Can't ram your foot. Yeah. Have any idea how disappointing that is? No, he waited. Actually, fake. He faked me out. You actually parry their charge attack. Extremely armored asshole. Ah, I got me that. Oh wow, that actually hit me. Shit. Ah, okay. I think he's had enough of my bullshit. Yep, he definitely has. Shouldn't do great heavy, but oh yeah, he's running. There we go. Jesus. Moves him aside, no repost from it. Coming. That's probably a mistake. <clears throat> There's no pig knight, just wolf, lion, hawk, and hornet. Hornet's an interesting Boy, choice. Geez. I didn't actually rest in Anerlong, though. occur to me. Heart Ring gives you the cool critical attack animations. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen those. Or if I did, I didn't realize it.
backstab someone with a hornet ring on, they'll flop around like mad. <laughs> I would like to get rid of this guy. I would like to get rid of this guy. Walmart has powdered peanut butter. I want to get some, but maybe next month. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Oh! No fair, I wasn't ready. Was funny. <laughs> two, two hog deaths. Ah, ah, ah. <coughs> Tell me you're getting bored already. Oh god. <laughs> oh fuck off. I don't have time for your bullshit. On top of this other bullshit. So yeah, what's the deal with powdered peanut butter? That's not something I'm familiar with. I am familiar with peanut cream, which is an interesting, if not as versatile, alternative to peanut butter. not getting the dodges I wanted. What's up, Bassy? This is very pro Oh, like for protein powder. Okay. <clears throat> More dish. Been eating a lot of peanut butter lately. I think it'd be more economical to just add your own oil as needed instead of buying regular peanut butter. Toss in recipes more easily. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, in fact. Okay, what's going on? I need to be a better cookies makes them taste absolutely amazing or so you've been told. Okay. Well, on the bright side, my uh, death splorch is moving closer and closer to the start. Okay. Jesus. All right. More dish. Never tried that before, you can believe it. Uh, might have to get some for your mom since those are her favorite. Death guess basically dead in the water. <coughs> I 
Well, it's a difficult thing to predict. I, d I don't think I could have predicted my own death count. Because it's been so long since I last played this game. And the things... A lot of things that caught me up the first time I played this game don't, kept, don't catch me up anymore. But there are other things that I would, like... I either forgot or didn't even think would be a problem that are just killing me over and over and over again. And we're not even like, well, we're maybe halfway there. DLC could be a ton. The DLC is particularly unkind. There's no way. No, there's no way. Alright, so I'm gonna need you. Uh, I have the worst feeling he can actually reach me from there. Can I reach him from there? He can reach me from there. Great. Perfect. I already used more than half the deaths. Meat will likely account for a lot of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Because I have never fought that dude before, and I know he is not a good time. Reminds me, you need to add a DOS game list Death Ball. <clears throat> Death Ball sounds enticing. All right. Duke's Archives. Here we go. I've seen this place many times in randomizers. I don't actually remember what the normal enemies are. Oh, crystal dudes. Oh, I guess that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Oh shit, that's right. That's not how my axe works. Oh god, there's a guy over there. Okay, you know what? Oh fuck, okay. Oh my god, there's guys everywhere. There's dudes everywhere! Wow, there's a lot of dudes everywhere. Always more dudes. But hey, progress, we're here now. Oh, I gotta get back. <gasps> can't break that. Bullshit, you can break that. I'm offended by scenery items I can't break. <laughs> Do you love that elevator design? It is about sty a stylish thing, isn't it? Great, perfect. You guys are not... You guys are magic resistance in the sense they won't stand still for it. Oh, and they go crunch. Okay, I killed one. I've done it. ADHD is their shit. Funny how they just kind of forget. Oh. I shouldn't be shit talking them. There we go. Alright, two down. Oh no, my ore. Hey, you. 
<laughs> Ow! Well, he listened. I suppose I should respect that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm too stupid to fight these people. I am straight too dumb to fight these guys. take their time with that, though. Hey, bud. Oh, fart! I got turned around. I can, um... Folks in the know, I can kill that golem and it won't cause a problem, right? Oh, it just respawns. Oh, is, is there no is there no point in killing it yet? I know what I need from him, but I don't know if I can get it yet. I guess that's my question. Can I? No point yet. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, he ain't bothering anybody right now, so fuck it. Crystal guys are super cool looking. I love their design. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to wait. Nah. Got an archer with him too. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit covering his bases like that. Oh, and I can't even target him from here. Well, shit. Would you offer to get crystallized too if you had the chance? Uh... God, there's a billion of these dudes. That guy's dealt with. I don't think... Yeah, that's the alpha. Okay, there's an archer on the stairs. I'm great heavy, this guy.
Oh, I, that's weird. I lost a... Uh... I lost my lock on him. Cast your trends are pretty cool if you can get one to drop. That might be a big ask. Oh, that's... That was dumb. That was really dumb. That was tricksy of him. Oh, fuck! What an asshole! I can't lock on him either. Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can't break that table. The table's too strong for me. Oh boy. I thought he was gonna shoulder check me and kill me. I thought that's where that was going. That table's in here can be broken only with weapons, not rolls. Ah. So they can, so they can. <coughs> Alright, I'm tapped out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. No sense in getting killed by the next dude I see and losing those souls. He's levitating! Elevator shortcut is pretty nice once you get to use it. Oh, that guy just came back. That guy is like, fuck you. I'm here anyway. I'm here forever. Oh, you got a really nice reach on that, don't you? Bad at fighting these guys. <clears throat> Challenge respawn here, which is good, it means you can get the trident if you want. Nice. Nice. Now stop playing. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It'd be a very oddish thing to do, you have to admit. I think we've seen enough of this. I think I'm good, chat.
No. Okay. You wanna like kill this guy? Beat Ornstein and Simone, not much to prove. <clears throat> that is true. That is true. What else is there, really? What level is your axe? Uh, I want to say like six or something. Let me see here. Oh, sorry. It's uh, raw plus two. I got crystal straight sword. Frankly, I'm holding out for the crystal gay sword. Percent drop rate for that sword? Nice. Go me. Ow. Dark ass. Nope. I like crystal things. I have that crystal sword. Looks cool. Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? I have a crystal halberd. Does like a stupid amount of damage. There it is. I can't use it with my present stats, but it does look pretty cool. Does look pretty cool. I forgot to mention you made good in your problem to start. Oh, hey, how about that? Excellent. Well, I'll have to. I'll have to modify our message because of that. Because you did! You, you did did it! <clears throat> Promise me. Actually, I'm curious, I'm curious about something now. The only things I have that scale with uh, intelligence are my catalysts. I seem to have cut a path right around any potential, like, good magic weapons. In the right place for getting a cool magic weapon? Yeah, I think that's why chat wanted me to go here. The rank strength I saved smoke for last to get that sweet hammer. Someday I would love to play this game with the intent of getting so like so much strength I can actually wield like some of the really crazy ass weapons. I think that'd be fun. 
Yo, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> you see exactly how much I had queued up there. Oh, these fucking shoulder checks, man. Screw these guys. The high required strength weapon is like 50 strengths, is level 30. Oh, oh shit, I didn't see that guy. Wow. Wow, that's right, right down the middle there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. Oh, that guy's just hanging out. How about that? Oh! Oh, fuck you! How did you do that? He shot me right through there. Probably not smart at all. He's got a... His head thing reminds me of that one asshole from Bloodborne. The guy that wore the cage? Remember him? Okay, where are you going? There you are. That just doesn't do enough damage. Howler monkey guy. <clears throat> ah, fuck. Doesn't always take the same amount of time for him to charge those up. Well, I ruined it, chat. Ruin the experience. Three more be uh, deaths in my bed is surpassed. I mean, hey, maybe, maybe the rest of this game will just click. Maybe we'll end on seventy-three. I mean, funny enough, there is one guaranteed coming up. Oh ho, there is. There is one death in this game that, if you're playing like a normal human, you cannot avoid. Which I think is really interesting for a game of this style. Yeah, I'm running, so what? It's already been ruined. God, there's so many of these dudes. <clears throat> Be wary of night. Oh yeah, I should definitely put on my rear ring of sacrifice for the uh for all these souls I'm gonna lose. Oh wait, no, because it curses. That's right. There we go. Oh fuck! Okay, wait, 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 shit, 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 shit. Wait, no, 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 no. I fucking got out here with me! Fucking shit! And of course, now I'm down here with all the fucking archers. Great. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Ah! God damn it, dude. All right, I actually kind of hate myself for listening to you now. Man, that really kind of fucked everything up. There's only one of those, isn't there? Yeah, reload. Actually, I think I'll just stop here. That's that's annoying enough that I think I'm I'm good for the night. Damn, that was Dark Souls, everybody. Yeah. The the dangers of backseating too aggressively. All right, so anyway, uh, we'll come back to this tomorrow night. Uh, we'll do this tomorrow and Wednesday, uh, assuming my soul can take it. And then on Thursday, we'll be back to Power Hours. We are, we're done with the Super NES stuff. Uh, I believe, oh, that's right. We're on, um, we're on the Power Challenges stuff. Um, is your soul not dark? Not dark. Heavy, but not, not dark. Um, <clears throat> oh shit, I haven't decided what we're doing for Friday yet. Well, I'll, I'll think of something. <clears throat> we'll come up with something for that. Anyway, let's go find somebody to raid, shall we? Let's go to here. Oh, Big Sig is playing Final Fantasy VI. How about that? First time, apparently. Oh, he's at a good part, too. Yeah, let's go hang out with him. <clears throat> All right, well, anyway, gang, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks for joining me for Dark Souls. It is, it is definitely a weight off my soul to have gotten past Smo and Ornstein. That was an ordeal, but I did manage it, and we'll manage the rest of this somehow. We'll see what we get to tomorrow night. So hopefully I will see you all then. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.